is up guys welcome back to the channel today we are actually working on my motor for my car for the camaro and we're assembling it right now they're dropping lifters and the retainers in it right now so let's go check it out we have the head that we finally got back from the machine shop with already the springs in As it in the last in the video, last video if yeah. you didn't click up above on the link and then we just went and picked up some front shocks for the car and then we got our whole gasket set sitting out here and as well as the head gaskets here and then um we gotta use this to compress the springs and then that's where the lifters were but um what else did we get oh we got we had to get head bolts uh, okay so also we had to get some little dowels for the top of the block so we did get that so we're getting and let's check this out oh hi, hi you're funny so we got our lifters put in we got our lifter retainers set and um as you've seen in the last video well not the last video but a few videos ago mm -hmm. um us putting the bottom end of this together you can also click the link on that one go watch it and come back here and finish watching this one but we're about to slap the heads on this thing um, and we also have a new opti sport coming in it should be here what today or tomorrow actually yeah i've got a new msd opti sport coming and then as well as rocker arms coming rocker arms are on the push way push rods we got to get push rods we got to measure the length and see which push rods we need we're probably gonna go with stock push, push rods on length length but we'll see we will time. definitely find out once we get the heads on but um we're gonna continue keep on yeah working. we're gonna keep on keeping on here just uh check out the cinematics and enjoy the music okay guys so we had a small dilemma we had to flip this thing back over pull off the oil pump because john forgot to put the pickup tube for the oil pump which is no big deal we just pulled the oil pan back off and uh put it all back together got the retainer dropped in and now we're going on with the head So we got us some brand new heads, head bolts. Unfortunately, somebody, we're gonna not name, gonna name any names, but somebody forgot to order head bolts, ARP. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and go with stock. Head bolts should be fine. It's not like we're pushing a thousand horsepower, but um, we're gonna go ahead and get these head bolts put in. So, once we do that, gotta look up torque. yeah, in the meantime, I've got to look up torque specs. So, I'm going to do that, and We're gonna continue. we'll pick back up here in just a minute. Stay tuned. 3% on my battery. It's about to go dead. All right, well, it only goes to 50. Oh, that's great. So what we'll do is we'll just do 50 and then we'll go to the next one. All right, that's all you can do. All right, so we've got the second side on, snugging them down, and then we're going to start torquing. Spec torques on these heads are 22 pounds all the way around at 67 degrees up top and 80 degrees on the bottom yeah that's what it was but if you don't have the degree angle tool then 
you just do 65 foot pounds all the way around we have the tool but I don't even think we're gonna fool with it I think we're just gonna do 65 foot pounds torque all the way around and call it a day send it send it so we're waiting on rocker arms to come in so we're gonna be getting pretty close to the end of this build for today we'll probably get the rocker arms no intake no we can't put the intake in either yeah, yeah. it's got to be cleaned that thing has to be cleaned up um, waiting on the opti spark to come in took we the old one off rods. yeah and we got to order push rods so we're getting closer and closer by the day yeah we have to find out if stock ones are going to work if not yeah which I've never done that before so that's definitely going to be a learning experience but that's where this we stand been... once we get it we get it torqued down we're going to stick push rods in it for now just for shits and giggles and as soon as we get the other parts in we'll keep you guys updated that bolt broke will it come out yep snapped off look at it maybe if we're lucky though there's enough to pull it out with that means we gotta come off with all those head yes. bolts mm, mm, mm. gotta love a LT1 oh my god and that was only 65 foot pounds of torque yeah They were all holding. I don't know. That one just kept going and kept going and it wouldn't it wouldn't click. So now what are we gonna do for a head bolt? Let's see if we can pull that one out. But what are we gonna do for a head bolt? I'll throw one stock one, one of the old ones. Whatever. Let's buy another setup of them which I wouldn't do the guy at uh is that on yeah I don't matter I I do the editing so the guy at O'Reilly was like yeah I just threw my old my I just reused my stock ones really so we had a head bolt break off <laughs> yep yeah it broke I don't know why Maybe it was just a weak bolt. I don't know why it kept going. That thing messed up? I don't know. No. No, I'm loosening them all right now. I wish I was. Um, so now we can put on the head. Still got the other one we can put on. If it doesn't break. Which one broke? This one. And it broke up inside? Yeah. Hopefully it's enough sticking out of the block that we can grab it. I have a welder here, don't you? Don't fret just yet. It's not in the car. <laughs> At least it's out of the car, not in it. So I gotta buy all the head bolts? No. It's too much money, dude. I'm just gonna reuse one of the stockings. One of the OGs. <laughs> All the rest of them were. But the, the, the uh, torque wrench never would click. The torque wrench was not clicking. It clicked on all of them until I got to that one. I just like 
fuck, maybe this was just like really loose because you know it's it's. Do you think it's you in know it? it's getting pressure from the inside out? Maybe it was just loose. Oh well, no, it broke off nice and even. I can hit it. I need a nut. Okay, so we didn't get to record it, but we got the broke bolt out, welded a nut on it. Where's it at? But we welded a nut on it and got that out. But I don't know if that was a weak bolt or what, but brand new bolt just snapped off. But we got another bolt and we're going back with them now now so let's go gonna be a wrap for this video thanks for watching we've got the old LT1 pretty much put together we still need some rocker arms and some push rods before we can bolt everything down um, distributors coming in but she is looking sweet I hope it runs just as sweet but got the headers put on it battery died so sorry i didn't get to time lapse the rest of it but yeah she's looking good excuse me for the hair you know with this coronavirus we can't get a haircut so uh, i didn't feel like throwing on a hat but on that note we'll catch you guys in the next video make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you give us a big thumbs up drop a comment down below on what you think and we're out of here Peace.